loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Holiana, and today we're doing our February of 2022 temperature blanket update. Let's do it! So if you're new here, or if you just don't know what a temperature blanket is, I'm gonna start by showing you what a temperature blanket is and kind of how to go about making one. I am always so terrible at actually explaining what a temperature blanket is, even though I'm literally making one. So I'm going to be reading you Google's definition. A temperature blanket is a crochet or knit record of the temperature throughout a set period of time using a predetermined temperature ranges with associated yarn colors to create a unique masterpiece. That is worded so much more eloquently than I could have. So as Google says, you pick a period of time. So we're doing the whole year of 2022. You pick a style of crocheting or knitting. We are doing single crochet rows and we're doing one row for every single day of the year in 2022. And here we have our predetermined temperature chart. So these are my yarn colors and these are the temperatures that each color correlates with. So if we had a day that was, let's say 75 degrees Fahrenheit, we would go here to the 70s and the color would be gold. If you're gonna start making a temperature blanket, I highly recommend making a chart. I personally use Google Docs and I do have my Google Docs chart linked below. You can click on it to see what my chart looks like and to see what day of the year I'm currently working on because I update it every time I work on the project. On my Google Docs chart, I include the day of the year, what average temperature it was for that day, what color correlates with that temperature, and most importantly, if I have finished that row or not. Because I think at the beginning I thought, oh, I can just keep track of this. I'll know what day I'm on. No, 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 no. I totally would have been completely lost without my my chart, without my chart to know what day I was on. When I started this, I thought it was going to be so easy to stay up to date. I was like, yeah, of course, I'll sit down like 20 minutes every day and do one row. No, 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 of course not. Like, why would I do that? That would actually make sense. I will say though, in February, I stayed a lot more up to date than I did in January. <laughs> On February 1st, the last time I did one of these update videos, I was hardcore playing catch up, like hardcore playing catch up. I think, how many rows did we do that day? 10 rows, 12 rows? It was too many rows, too many rows for one day. There was a little bit of time that I did get behind in February. I wanna say when the date was like February 15th, somewhere around there, like halfway through the month, I had only crocheted the first like five rows of that month. This past week I was house sitting for my aunt. It's just this like beautiful country home. And we got a lot of rain last week. So I honestly used last week to play catch up with my temperature blanket. I sat with the dog and the cats that I was pet sitting and I listened to an audiobook and I crocheted. So today, March 1st, we are completely caught up in our temperature blanket. Are you ready to see it? This is our 2022 temperature blanket so far. I'm using these little pens to hold it together. So let me undo them so you can see what the full thing looks like. <laughs> it's so long, guys. It is literally so, so long. It was supposed to be the width of a queen bed, but whenever I laid it out on my bed, it like falls off of both sides by a good amount. But it's definitely going to be so cozy and so comfy and so warm when it's finally done on December 31st of 2022. One thing I've been doing that I will highly recommend if you are in the process of creating a temperature blanket is I've been leaving markers for each month as I go along so I can kind of visually see where each month starts and stops. Some people literally crochet in barriers between each month. I've seen a lot of people do this where once they finish January, instead of continuing straight into February, they will put one row of white. And then after February, they'll put one row of white before going into March. I don't really like the white line. I really like the gradient of colors and the way that this looks. But as I'm creating it, I do wanna be able to see month to month. And I also wanna be able to show you guys month to month what the process is looking like. So this was January 1st. This was January 30th and this was February 28th. So as I continue on this project, I am going to keep adding markers so I can kind of see where I am month to month. If you have any questions about making a temperature blanket, please leave your comment below and I will do my best to help. As promised, I'm gonna be doing an update on the temperature blanket on the first of every single month. See you next time.